what we have here is squat altitude drop. Essentially what we're going to be doing is stepping off of an elevated surface and sticking the landing in a squat position. I'm going to rep out a couple, then we're going to talk about it. Onto my elevated surface, I step off and I catch myself in a squat position. Step off and drop, stick it. A couple things you want to look out for on this movement. The depth in which you catch yourself in a squat position doesn't necessarily matter. So some people will catch themselves with very little knee bend in this tall upright position. Others will be able to catch themselves in a very deep squat position. That doesn't necessarily matter. Granted, a deeper squat position is a little bit more challenging. It's a nice way to progress with this input. But with that said, the main focal point with this movement is wherever you fall in terms of your squat depth, as soon as you come in contact with the ground, you are turning on all the appropriate musculature, firing everything on at once to absorb that force as quickly as you can, stopping all momentum. It's an abrupt throw on the brakes, boom, stick the landing. So one thing you don't want to see is you step off, come in contact with the ground, and then there's this continuous descent before you hit the brakes. We don't want to see this fall, 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 and then you stick it. Alongside with that, there shouldn't be any excess moving movement going on up top. So the torso isn't falling forward. You're not falling backwards. Knees aren't caving in. It's an instant, boom, stop. Absorb that force as quickly as you can. Um, and so a good starting point with this input is anywhere from around knee height. If that is too challenging for you, you can start with something about 12 inches off the floor. Same parameters are in play. Drop off, stick. Drop off, stick. With that said, you can progress with this movement going anywhere up to waist height. You can either go up to 45, 60 inches up. Um, I like to stay generally around this height um, as we get a lot of volume into this input. Um, but with that said, another way to progress with this move is trying to catch yourself in that deep squat position while muscles are in a lengthened state that's where it's gonna get really, really challenging. Um, and so one more time, step off, catch yourself in a squat position. Step off, catch from the side. Step off, catch. This is squat altitude drop. 